You're watching BTV. Western Copper and Gold is developing a premier copper gold mine. Its casino project located in Yukon is the largest critical metals venture in Canada. And if all goes according to plan, it will be the country's largest critical metals mine. Casino right now has a full feasibility on it. It was done in mid-2022, so quite current. We're taking the project through the permitting stage. It is uh, a large copper gold porphyry, a very important asset globally. That's what attracted me to the company. It's about 11 billion pounds of copper, 20 million ounces of gold. It's been a known project in the sector for some time, but it's really kind of come into its own over the last three years. I think this is something that could really put Yukon on the map uh, and hopefully be a driving force of its economy and its prosperity for a very, very long time. While the project has a significant gold resource, it's casinos' copper deposits that are getting the bulk of attention. We've seen that these, these assets are harder to find. They're in tougher jurisdictions typically. They take longer to come through the gestation period to come to market. So we're kind of behind the eight ball in terms of bringing these assets to market for an economy and a, and a society that's decarbonizing uh, all the time. So, so it's really a bit of a crunch, honestly. Um, and, and assets like Casino Matter from that perspective in terms of the copper and the molly that it could deliver to market. While the demand grows for Western Copper's assets, the company has been busy lining up support of some heavy hitters. Rio Tinto is a 10% shareholder in the company. Mitsubishi Materials just below 5%. So quite a strong endorsement from some of the smartest people in the copper space. They've taken an immense effort of doing diligence on the company. They've come through with very positive views on the project. Their involvement more recently has really kind of kicked things up a notch. So, uh, so an asset that's kind of finding its rhythm, I would argue. No wonder Singh is feeling so optimistic. I'm highly excited about the future of Western Copper. I mean, I just joined the company, uh, made a significant investment when I did, so I'm, I'm all in on Western Copper. You know, everyone throws around world class a little too easily, but this certainly could qualify. I mean, we've got the right asset. The Yukon is doing a phenomenal job putting in place frameworks to allow the asset to progress. The government's been helpful from an infrastructure perspective. The First Nation relationships are extremely strong and supportive. So far as you know, assets that matter globally, it's a very short list. We have one of the better ones. Western will continue the permitting process to de-risk casino, all to advance the project closer to its ultimate goal.